Hello everybody, it's me Candy and I'm back today with another project. This project is something that I have not attempted yet, so I figured why not attempt it with all of you. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take this wine glass and we're going to turn this wine glass into a dragon scale wine glass. Never done it before, but you don't know if you can do something unless you try it, right? That's right. So I'm going to try all right, the materials I'm going to be using to do this is your regular Dollar Tree wine glass. And we're going to be using dragon scales. And what did you make those scales out of? These are made out of light cardstock that I ordered off of Amazon. This is the package of it. This was, I believe, $8.99 for the pack of um, cardstock. And what I did was I went to Etsy and I purchased a Dragon Scale SVG and printed it out using my Cricut. Well, cut them out using my Cricut. And don't worry, I'm gonna list all of the supplies, all of the stuff that, I, that I'm gonna use to make this glass in the it'll be in the description so first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the sticker from the wine glass i haven't started doing anything so we're going to do this from start to finish that's always step a step a we're going to make sure we get the sticker off and clean the glass really good so what i usually do is i start off with regular alcohol i'm going to pour just a bit of this on the top and I'm going to use my fingers and kind of saturate the, the sticker. Rubbing that alcohol in like lotion, huh? <laughs> yeah. Usually, if I'm not going to attempt to do something immediately, and I have a little bit more time. What I'll do is I'll put alcohol in it the way you just saw me do. I'll take a paper towel, fold it up, sit the paper towel on top of that, and then saturate the paper towel on alcohol. And if you let that sit for anywhere 10, 15 minutes, you'll be able to slide that right off the glass. But we're not doing that today. We're gonna go ahead and take it off right now. So pick up my popsicle stick after I've gotten this a little bit wet. I'm going to try to push up the edge. Can you see that? It's already coming up. And then gently pull it away. Oh, there you go. You still might have some residue from your sticker on top. I'm not sure if you can really see the residue from the sticker. It's still there. Yeah, they can see it. So, when that happens, saturate your paper towel with some alcohol. And if you just wipe, it comes right off. No more stickiness, no more residue. Still kind of looks the same, but let me see. You can't really see it because there's other things under. Yeah, but you can definitely feel there's nothing sticky exactly. here. Trust me, if, if, if you do it like she said, you'll be able to feel it. There's, there's nothing sticky left on there. Okay, so once we got the sticker off, the next step is going to be to actually clean your wine glass and get it free of any dirt, debris, oils, anything. Fingerprints. Anything, yep. So I'm going to saturate this as much as I can. And you guys, please excuse my table. I'm a messy crafter. And we're going to just clean this whole glass, which is why I have gloves on, so that when I go to touch it again, I'm not putting any more oils or anything on the glass. And 
the next step is to let that dry and we all know that alcohol doesn't take long to dry you can blow on it <laughs> and it'll dry so um, then what I'll do is I can just hit pause for like 60 seconds, you know, a minute or two, let really it dry. You really don't have to because it's pretty okay. much dry. But um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this, this glass on a football and PVC pipe so that you can hold it and spray it. Trying to spray it with holding it in your hand, you're going to get fingerprints regardless if you have gloves on or not. So you don't want that to happen. That's why I usually put it on a football. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it, and we're gonna go do that right now. All right, this is what she's gonna to use to spray down that glass. And we're out on the balcony right now. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is this football, as you can see, it's already been used countless amount of times. I'm gonna take this football, and I'm going to put it into this glass. These are really, you can get these from Dollar Tree. The PVC pipe you can find at any Lowe's, Home Depot, and they'll cut it for you. Um, so, what I do, squeeze it, twist and squeeze, just twist and squeeze. And there you go. So you turn it upside down, it's not gonna fall off. That's why you use the bigger football and not the smaller one, so you can make sure that it doesn't fall off here. You want it to fill up that uh, the bulb of the glass. Yep. And the next thing we're going to do, what I have here is Rust-Oleum 2 times Ultra Cover Paint and Primer in the color Metallic Silver. When you do your glass, you can use whatever color you want as a base. I'm using this just in case there's any kind of... I have gray cardstock, so just in case there's any kind of... Um, open spaces in between the dragon scales when I put them on, at least they'll be somewhat covered. With be the same you, color. Yeah, with the same color, so you won't be able to see them. So gotcha. let's go ahead and... You want me to hold that while you open the can? Everybody is kind of windy out here, so please forgive me if um, this paint job doesn't come out perfect. And even if it doesn't come out perfect, we're covering it with dragon scales, so it's not really gonna matter. Here we go. I usually hold it away from me with my arm extended all the way Definitely out. Definitely wanna do that. And you're gonna wanna make short burst. And turn. And you want to spray until you can't see that football through the glass anymore. We're going to get the stem. I turn the glass this way. Another thing that I do is I make sure that I cover the bottom. So I'm going to flip it over and we're just going to spray that top. And make sure you get as much coverage as you can. And there you go. Almost looks like it actually came in that color. And if you see some little lighter spots because as I'm looking at it, I can see through here that we have some lighter spots, so I'm just going to and that's it. And we're going to let this dry for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll be back and we can start putting the dragon scales on. Okay, we're back, and what we're getting ready to do is start gluing the dragon scales onto the wine glass. I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way to the top. Um, what I use for this is I'm going to be using Mod Pod, 
and I'm going to be using a sponge brush. You can find both of these at Michael's, at Walmart, at Joann's, at uh, Hobby Lobby, um, any of the art supply stores or department stores. Um, Target has it. What about discount stores? Like, they carry it? like, um, like Dollar Tree, Family Dollar? Now, I don't know if Dollar Tree or Family Dollar will have Mod Podge, but I do know that the Dollar Tree has had these in there before, the sponge brushes. Um, you can usually find these in a pack of 12 like this. I got these, I believe, from Target. It's a pack of 12 of them for like $3.89. So these are cheap. You can find these almost anywhere. Um, you can actually order them off Amazon. All of this stuff you can order off Amazon or anywhere. But what we're going to do is um, I'm trying to figure out which way I'm going to put the scales on the glass because I'm going to work from the bottom all the way up to the top. First thing is, I've noticed that at the bottom of the wine glass, there's this little kind of, I guess you can say indentation from where the glass was made. It's right here. And it looks like it would be kind of hard to try to get the scales to go on there and, and stay glued down without them looking kind of messy. So I cut out a small circle. From, my, from the cardstock, and I'm just gonna put that, glue that down in the middle, and I'm gonna work my way around that. So that way, whenever I'm putting the scales on, if there's a little bit that's sticking out, you are, you're not gonna be able to see it until I can get all the scales together. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're gonna dip this in here a little bit. And then I'm just gonna do a very light, Excuse the camera guys, I'm just going to be trying to move around as you know to try to let you guys get the best angles to see as I can so just bear with me. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to put this in the middle, move it to exactly where I want it to be, try to press it down a little bit. Now if you've ever done a dragon scale tumbler, you know that this can get very messy using Mod Podge and trying to get it to stick because you're going to be pushing it down and basically putting your hands on it. Some people wear gloves, some people don't. The first time I've done a drag, I did a dragon scale tumbler, I did not wear gloves. I had glue in between my fingers, under my fingernails, on my hands, and it was just chaos. So, I wear gloves. When we've gotten this stuck down on the edges, especially where I wanted to get it stuck. And I can see some of the paint is starting to come off, so maybe painting it first is not that great of an idea unless you seal it. But I didn't, but I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> and we would advise you ladies who attempt this to seal the paint after you spray it. Yeah, don't be like me, be smart. <laughs> and so, I'm just gonna start on one side first with a little bit of Mod Podge. And I don't know if I should put the scales going this way or if I should put them going this way. Or What if you did since it was the bottom? What if you kind of spiraled it from the center outward to the edge? You know how to do that? No. I was me, just asking. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I mean, we can attempt it. You gotta start from the center, though. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, I'm gonna attempt to uh, spiral these dragon scales like my wonderful husband has This is happening on the fly, folks. Okay. On the fly. So, I'm gonna go from dead center, and I'm gonna put the first one on there, and then I'm gonna put the, oops. I hope this works. If it does, it'll be beautiful. Probably use your palette knife, you know, after you put the scale down, 
to make sure that your finger, you know, doesn't get stuck to the scale. And I must say this Mod Podge dries, dries really quick. Oh, pretty quick. Yeah. And it's okay if you get Mod Podge over the top of the dragon scales as you're putting them on. That's fine because as I go, I usually come back and we'll wipe some more Mod Podge over it just to help them stick a little bit. I'm using the same exact method that I used when I actually did the, the tumbler. My husband's trying to hand me the palette knife because he's so wonderful and helpful. I mean, it, it would definitely help after you set the, the scale down. You can press down with the palette knife and not have to worry about something sticking to your finger. And he's right, but I'm stubborn. <laughs> we've kind of got that first little spiral going and we can work from there. So, so far that's what I have. I'm going to take a little bit more of this Mod Podge. I'm going to hold it right here and cover it and apply some pressure. Spread it out a little bit just so it can be over the top of the scales and they don't come up as I go add the next go around. Now, uh -uh. and you keep building outward. Yeah, but if I'm building outward, that means that the bottom of the scale is going to be on the outside. You don't want the bottom of the scale on the outside. You want this to be underneath and covered. Uh. So. Knowing if maybe I can just flip it over and start going this way, which I think that I might do. I'm going to try not to overlap the scales, but keep them close together as I'm doing this. Now, as I told you, I've never done this before, so it's not going to be perfect, but okay. I already see that I'm going to the edge of the glass on this side, and I didn't so much on that side, but it's okay because dragon scales aren't always perfect. So, I don't know. I've never seen a dragon before, so... <laughs> I don't know if scales are perfect on the dragon. It's a not. living creature. <laughs> living creatures do not have, you know, do not have, you know, asymmetry. Something is always a little bit bigger on one side, a little smaller on the other side. It's okay. And do you see, I don't know if you guys can see where the paint is peeling up, but yeah, make sure you seal yours. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, I think I... I think I got that in reverse just now. Symmetry is everything being the same. Asymmetries is things being slightly buried. And living things have asymmetry. Thank you. For that little lesson in um, symmetry and asymmetry. I'm sure that we all appreciate you. <laughs> So I'm going to keep going around as much as I can. 
And because the, the Mod Podge has started to get tacky, it's making it easier to put these, these on. I know it looks like crap now, but I promise you the outcome of this is gonna be a lot better than what it looks like now. So we're gonna take a little bit more Mod Podge. Mod Podge. It's okay. We're all tempted to throw the GE on the MOD. <laughs> I don't but know why they just didn't name it, it is, Mod Podge anyway. But it is Mod Podge. M O D P O D G E. And I don't know, those of you that saw my um my dragon scale tumbler, it was my first time doing Tum um, dragon scales on the tumbler. I've never done that before and it actually came out pretty nice. Came out awesome. Especially because I tried to do the ice dragon. Another thing that um, I can let you guys know is that After you get all the dragon scales on and you have it the way that you want it to be, you can actually, and yes, I'm going to fold these down the sides of the bottom of the glass as I'm doing it, but I'll fold it once I get it more a little bit saturated with some more Mod Podge. Like you're going to bend them over that lip and... Yep, and keep going, and down. keep going from there, yep. Gotcha. But as I was saying, you can actually, once you're finished putting all of these scales on, you can paint this. Your dragon doesn't have to be the color of your cardstock paper. Your dragon can be, if I wanted to paint this black when I'm done, I can paint it black, I can paint it pink. Any color that you want. You can spray paint it. I would suggest that after you do it, you use a sealer. <laughs> or you can use acrylic paint. Um, the last dragon scale cup that I did, I actually, um, after I got all of the scales on the cup and I got it the way I wanted to, I put glitter and mica powder into the Mod Podge. And I put that on there and it kind of gave it a, a shimmery, kind of wintry effect to it. And I didn't know what I was doing then. It just turned out to be a happy accident but it's an accident that I can do over and over again. Shout out to Bob Ross, the happy accidents. Bob Ross is the man, What was the man. His son Steve is not so bad either. And if you have no clue who I'm talking about, just go to YouTube and type in Bob, type Ross. In Bob Ross. The joy of painting, Bob Ross. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, I know it doesn't look too uniform now, but that's okay because we're just starting. And we're trying to get coverage right now. And yes, this is very tedious work. It's going to take a while for me to get all of these scales on this cup. So then what we're going to do then is we're going to take another little pause. And when we come back, she'll be good on the bottom. And then she'll be ready to show you how she's going to move on and do the top side of the glass. All right. So as you can see, she's got the whole bottom of the glass covered. Looks like the Mod Podge is just about drying up and she has started to come over the lip to the other side. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start moving the scales up the side. And I know that I'm gonna have to go back down and, and cover this way, but that's fine. I just want to start getting some of these in so you, the place where they need to be. So you're going to kind of, in a way, kind of do the same thing on the top of the bottom half so that you can fold the scales back over. Yes, and exactly. 
Just make it look all smooth and everything, okay? Yep. And you're leaving that, that, that little tip of the scale loose so that you can fold it over, right? Yes, sir. Okay. That is exactly what I'm doing. So we'll just let you we'll put you, let you put maybe you know a couple more on there, and then we'll pause so we'll, you know until you get ready to show us the next step. Oops, and be careful because you can put them on upside down because I yeah. just did. Yeah, very important, guys. This is this this right here, this pointy part. This is your stem. So you always want to make sure that the stem is kind of pointing towards the direction of the top of the glass. That's why she's starting from the bottom and working her way up. So she'll, it'll still have the overlap and it'll look anatomically correct. I've resorted to using my fingers rather than the brush. The brush is a little bit too big. My finger works perfect and I've got glue all over this anyway. So as long as you have on gloves, it doesn't hurt to use your fingers. And the only thing that you're trying to do right now is cover seams. You just want to make sure that any of these areas right here, those get covered. All of this right here, you want it to yeah. cover. So you want it to look like a whole scale. It's a little blurry when you point to it. That area right there, where my fingertip is pointing to, what she's doing is trying to make sure that those areas will not show. All right, so we'll, we'll let her keep going and we'll come back in a couple minutes and, and see how it's looking. All right, you guys, we're back. Candy says she believes that she has the bottom, top, and underside taken care of. So let's just take a look, help her inspect, see if she left any gaps. Yeah, looks good over here on this side. You want to turn it over and let us get a look at it? Once again, this is only happening right here because we didn't seal it. So we definitely advise you guys after you spray paint your glass to seal it so that you don't have to worry about your paint that you put on there going anywhere. But all of those little gaps that we was worried about at the edges, she has covered all of those. It may look like there's a gap, but trust me, there is um, a folded piece of cardstock in there. So the dragon scales are all overlapping. The bottom of the glass is completely covered. Um, are you going to proceed up the stem just yet? Yes, I am. Right now? Yes, I am. All right. Well, let's get going. Let's let them see uh, what they've got to do. So, like I said, I've been using my finger. It seems to be a little bit easier. Go around. And all I'm doing is just putting a light little coating of glue right here in this area. You want them to lay down as much as you can. So as you're putting glue and adding other scales, press. Just keep pressing because you want them to lay down flat. As flat as possible. Again, I assure you, this is the first time that she has attempted dragon scales on a stem glass. This right here is going to be hard because I have to find a way to make this lay and kind of wrap at the same time. What if you tried to maybe like kind of saturate the bottom of the scale with some glue so it gets a little bit more malleable? That's true. I can do that too. Thank you, honey. You look like you was almost there with that one. Hopefully the moisture from the glue can make it a little easier to work with. Yeah, well it does. It makes it able for me to bend it around here. Mm -hmm. So that that's smart as hell. So, anybody else who tries this, when you get to the stem and you gotta kinda not just lay the scales, but bend them around the stem itself, saturated with glue, she says it makes it easier for you to be able to just, you know. And it did. More malleable for you just to be able to move it how you wanna move it. But it looks like I'm going to have to hold it for a minute. To let it to, set? Yeah. And that's fine. 
this isn't something that I expected to, if you're going to take on this project, just make sure that you have time. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that if you wanted to stop in between, you can. Mm -hmm. It's it's not like anything's going to happen. Look at that now. That's sitting, that's sitting nice and snug. I don't know if you can see where the scale was that she just added, but that's sitting nice and snug up against the stem now. Put some glue on the other side. So we'll just watch her do it one more time, and, and then once again, we'll just take a pause and come back when she's a little bit further along. Try to saturate it as much as I can now. And I'm going to put this one. And yes, it's sticking, but it's not ripping anything up, so it's fine. I'm going to come right next to this one. And then I'm just going to lay it there for a second, let it sit, get it in position to where you want it to be. And I'm going to lay it down and push. You guys, I never said this was going to be easy. This is a challenge for me, but it's fun. All right. And then as I go, I still spread because all it does is reinforce. All right, guys, so she's starting up the stem. We'll come back in a few minutes and see what type of progress that she's making. All right, guys, we're checking back in on this dragon scale tumbler. Cup, wine glass. Oh, dragon, dragon scale stemmed wine glass, excuse me. <laughs> so I guess it's probably this bad boy right here I was looking at, this ice dragon right here, looking so cold and so cool that I got a little bit distracted there, but anyway. She's doing the stem dragon glass. Uh, you guys, anything you want to tell them so far? Yeah, I realized that as I was putting each one of the scales on and I had the gloves on, it was fine until I got to the parts where I actually had to hold it down to get it to stick. And my gloves were sticking more than my actual hands were, so you can use your hands. That's it. This is actually a lot easier than what I thought it would be. It just takes some maneuvering when you get to the stem. Once you get up here, this part will be easy. You've got a wide, you know, a wide canvas to use, so it's not going to be as much. This is the hardest part, but once you get this done, about three or four scales to cover the whole, like the, the whole yeah so, so about three to four scales she's using to cover the circumference of her glass stem that she's working her way up and the Mod Podge is sitting in there so the scales are laying down like she wants them to So she'll keep going, and I'll come back when she starts to uh, come out of the stem up into the bowl, into the bulb, and um, we'll just keep trying to do this thing for you and hoping that it comes out right. All right, we're back. Looks like she's got just about all of the stem done coming from the base, coming up to the bulb. Again, same technique, making sure that she's overlapping, not leaving any, any glass exposed there. Even though she's putting some glue on the actual wine glass, she's then putting glue, you know, on, on the uh, on the side of the scale that's gonna be adhering to the glass. She puts the glue there. And that allows her to be able to, to basically mold it around to the shape of the bowl. Is that correct? Yes. I'm actually putting, when I put the glue, and when it dries up, you're not going to be able to see all the extra glue. And if you do, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But um, I put the glue on there first. And then I put the scale on. 
and I push it into the shape that I want it to be. And as I'm doing that, the glue that was underneath comes out, so I just take that and spread it. I use that to help me keep it in place, apply a lot of pressure, because when you do, your scale will start to get a little bit more, more pliable. It's easier for you to actually push it down. This is not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. It's just a lot of work. And some people would, wouldn't mind sitting down and doing it. I have the time right now, so. All right, so I'll let her keep going. And once again, we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, we're back. Yes, we are. We're making some progress here. We're getting pretty close to reaching the lip of the cup. What do you want to tell them about what's been going on, Candy? Uh, once you get down to here, after the hardest parts are trying to curve the scales over this part of the glass, trying to curve it over here, and trying to curve it right here. Once you get down here and you get to the stem where it's just empty space, it's a lot easier. You put the glue down, you lay the scales, you don't really have to do much. It's gonna do it's gonna do the work itself. It's not a lot. But man, these curves and up here, whoo boy. It's looking pretty beautiful. I won't say that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there's gonna be some paint that gets put on these scales as well when you're done, right? Yes. I don't know if I'm gonna spray the whole thing and then individually paint the scales or if I'm just gonna individually paint the scales, but I don't know if I want it to be gray. I might want... Um, yeah, because we already got an ice dragon. Yeah, I might, want a, I might want a white dragon or a black dragon. Yeah. I might want a red dragon. Like Rhaegal or Assyrian. Ooh. Red or green. Ooh. Red, 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 red. What about red and black? Ooh. So I'm thinking maybe that might be what I do. Um, I might paint it red or paint it black and then highlight the scales, each individual scale with paint to, to make it stand out. But this is what I've got so far. I'm gonna keep going and we'll be back with you guys in just a few minutes and I should be down to the bottom of the cup by then. All right. So I've gotten all the scales on the cup, the glass completed. I have some spots in here that I want you guys to see. So a spot right there, a couple of little spots right there where you can see the glass. It's not really a big deal. Um, the only thing that I'm gonna do is, I've decided that I am gonna paint this. So when I paint it, all of this will be covered and you don't have to worry about anybody going, ooh, I see a spot. <laughs> so <laughs> you'll be good. Um, what I am going to do is, after this dries, I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to go right across where this little lip... Where's another glass that I can kind of show? Can you give me one of the empty? I'll get it. If you look on this glass right here, you'll see that there's like a little lip right under it. It's on this one too. So what do I'm that gonna... again because... If you look at this glass, you'll see at the very top of the rim, there's a little lip that sticks out. Let's see if I can focus on that, there we go. This little lip right here. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my X-Acto knife right around that lip, right under that lip. So then I'll have a clean edge and I won't have to worry about, you know, trying to cut this off with scissors or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's not completely dried, it's dried, some, not completely, but... Not dry enough to start painting and things nah, like that, right? No, I'll let it dry for a few more hours before mm -hmm. I do that, but I did it. All right. And hey, I want to apologize to all of you guys at home because the autofocus was acting up on me a little bit, so it, it might have been a little blurry at some times, but I hope that you could fully see everything. If you couldn't, let us know something in the comments and we'll try to go back and whatever it was that you weren't able to see. We'll try to see if we can just go back and maybe do that part for you. And, you know, please remember to subscribe to the channel. What's the name of the channel, baby? Custom Queen Designs by Candy. All right. See you guys later.